I look the same as I did last night, but I promise you it's the next day. I'm just wearing the same dress and my hair's up in a ponytail. Um, it is four o'clock, is it? Yeah. We didn't vlog anything for the rest of today because number one, I woke up at 11 because I went to bed at 2 a.m. because I don't know why, because I'm an idiot. And number two, I was exporting a vlog so I couldn't use the memory card because I had the memory card in my camera, in my computer. And we went out to the Vibe Cafe again to go um, and have a lunch date. And I ended up into a bit of a business meeting talking about our future and what we want to do and stuff, which is really productive and I feel really good now because my head was all over the place and we've yeah. made some decisions and plans. It's been a weird week. It has been, been a been weird in, like, week. three different countries the past week. Yeah, it's how weird. So... And we're travelling tomorrow. Yeah, it's kind of late now, but I think that because we didn't make it to the Royal Palace yesterday, we're going to go there now. Hopefully it's still open. If not, there's plenty of places to wander around. Let's Google it because it's four o'clock now. Um, but yeah, we're going to go there and then um, probably just stay out for a little bit because... Stay out to dinner. Yeah, stay out to dinner, maybe have a drink somewhere, go sort of see some different areas because we've only really been in... Alex? He's weeing very loudly. Um, yeah, because we've only been in the area we're staying in. Um, so we want to go check out some other areas of Phnom Penh that we've not really seen. So yeah, um, we'll take you along with us, whatever it is we end up doing. These last two days have been a little bit of a fail in Phnom Penh. Yeah. We're going to arrive and it's going to be like quarter to five and we're not going to be able to see it. Oh dear. Maybe we can just have a look at it on the outside. <laughs> oh, and it starts to rain. It seems to rain in the afternoon here, kind of like Chiang Mai. Yeah. But at least it's not tropical pouring down rain, it's yeah. kind of like spitty rain, which is alright. In Chiang Mai it was sunny. Here it's yeah, just... it's very cloudy here. I don't know yeah. if it's just bad weather, but... I think it is. Yeah. Mm. But overcast. I don't mind that though, because it means you don't get too hot. I, yeah. It's kind of nice. And it bit. looks like we can enjoy it without going inside if it's too yeah. late for us to go inside. So. Yeah. Good framing again, Alex. Sorry, just navigating. Oh, yeah. I forget. You put it in the middle. I got it now. I got it. No, but I'm still looking. <laughs> you don't look. This is how you do it. Not good. No. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so it's closed. As we predicted. Yeah. I think even if we got in, they probably would have been kicking us out quite quickly. Yeah. We finished lunch at like half three, and we didn't even. It didn't even. I guess. Maybe that's a good thing because we were having such a good discussion about yeah. you know plans and the future and stuff. Um, and there is like an obligation when you visit a city to like see everything and see all the sights and stuff. And sometimes it's just not realistic. Yeah. When you're going from place to place, you do get tired and sometimes you do just want to sit and relax and like what's yeah. going to be more enjoyable, like going and seeing all the historical cultural things or just chilling out for a couple of days sometimes like come I wish we had been able to see it but sometimes yeah. you just have to just deal with it we've come and seen the outside it's beautiful it's, uh, here anyway shame we haven't been able to get in it is very pretty yeah so whatever we can just hang around here take some pictures not the end of the world no eh? sometimes yeah. just walking around and not paying to go in places is just as good about, about, about everything
decided to just go for a stroll and go to a place called Elephant Bar because it came up as a cool place to go and get a drink. Not that either of us really drink, but Alex will have a beer or something, won't he? Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> I'm sure they'll do yeah. mocktails. Yeah, do. And it's also by the uh, Wat Nom, Wat Nom, which is a temple, so we can have a look at that. And it's supposed to look quite nice at night time, so I just feel like walking along the river and just seeing it. It's Thanks. kind of nice we weather because it's cool. Out that much. No. I don't really want to take a tuk tuk. No, I feel like exercising my body a bit. <laughs> so yeah, let's have a walk. Oh. It makes me happy that they're setting them free. I'm not sure why or why they keep them in these cages, but maybe someone bought them and set them free. I don't know. But birds do not belong in cages. Limp. Come on. Athletic. Come on. You can do it, Great Britain. Come on, GB. Come on. Prove yourself. Oh, no. About, about everything. About, about, about everything. Okay, so I'm really glad that we walked down here because we actually got to see like a, you know, historical monument. A real what? Yeah, because we actually got to see something because we were worried that we would have just seen nothing. And now we don't know how to get out because there are like gates that are like shut. Huh. But um, I'm bursting for a wee and we need to go somewhere for me to wee because I'm going to wet myself. So... Uh... Maybe we're stuck here. Forever. Yeah. I have to pee in the bushes. I think Buddha would like that. <laughs> And it's probably a really good time to come to this temple because I bet you in the daytime it's really busy so there wasn't that many people there which is always nice. I have no idea if you could see that but they were bats. Loads of them. I was thinking, I was listening to the noise thinking that sounds like the caves the other day. Yeah. And they're like huge bats in that tree. They're like giant. Proper like Halloween style. <laughs> and there is a live piano player and I'm very happy because I used to play the piano and I love listening to the piano so I'm in, in my element. Obviously I didn't order an alcoholic drink but I got a mocktail, I had some good mocktails, got one called Royal Paradise and Alex is having a Cambodia beer and it's happy hour which is a nice coincidence but yeah this is lovely. <laughs> Does 
Doesn't look like it's open. So our first choice was shut, so we gotta find somewhere else. Yeah. We found the kitties. I got a dumpling soup because I love dumplings and Khmer noodles because while in Cambodia and then also they had vegan spare ribs so we were like why not and Alex what did you get? Noodles. <laughs> Any more? That's about it. Well, Two different no types of noodles. On the same one with like veg and mushroom. I'm impressed you used to hate mushrooms and now you're ordering a specific meal with mushroom mushrooms. Mushroom is very nice here. It is very nice in Asia. I do like British mushrooms, but they're different here. They really make them in meals. They're a bit boring. Here yeah, is, uh, they really make them good here. Really flavour. Yeah. What's this? Some tea. So these are the vegan spare ribs. Mmm. <laughs> nice. That's a wrap. We'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Or maybe, do we vlog tomorrow on the bus? That's not very interesting, is it? Goodbye. We're not um, gonna vlog tomorrow because we're just gonna go on a bus all day. So, I don't think that's particularly no, interesting. No, our efforts are best utilized in, oh, let me just shave, um, just editing on the bus. Yeah, vlogging, it would just be... I think we'll be doing enough pointless. interesting stuff in Siem Reap. Yeah, so we'll see to... you in Siem Reap. We'll give you a tour of the place we're staying, because I know that we forgot to do that one for Bali, which is annoying. Did we do it for here? No, well, oh, yeah, we kind of, I did, yeah. Can't really do a tour here. No. Okay, we'll see you in Siem Reap. <laughs>